हेलो कोडर्स वेलकम टू रिफ्रेश कोडिंग माय नेम इज मधुलिका एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट एडब्ल्यू एस कोड डिप्लॉय सो व्हाट इज एडब्ल्यू एस कोड डिप्लॉय इट ऑटोमेट कोड डिप्लॉयमेंट टू मेंटेन एप्लीकेशंस अप टाइम सो हाउ इट वर्क्स दैट वी विल सी सो इफ यू रिमेंबर इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन हाउ टू वर्क विथ एडब्ल्यू एस कोड कमिट एंड हाउ टू वर्क विथ एडब्ल्यू एस कोड बिल्ड सो हियर वी विल इन इफ यू रिमेंबर वी हैव पुटेड अ कोड इन here code comment repository so now the same code we are going to deploy so here we are not talking about the build step we have already discussed code build so you can watch that video so here what we will do we will deploy this code which is already there in code comment repository and uh, we will create a pipeline also so here before starting with the uh, code deploy what we need we actually need two roles first so here if you see two roles are there ec2 instance profile role and code deploy role now how to create this roles if you see this ec2 instance profile role okay why this role is required because actually our code deploy will deploy our code it into an ec2 instance and there that ec we need certain permissions with ec2 instance to work with code deploy so here you will create this role and you will just add these two permissions amazon ec2 role for aws code deploy and amazon ssm managed instance code you will just add these two permissions and you will create the role now how to create a role that i have already discussed in a video you can see it is very very simple just go to roles create role and just select here ec2 next give that two permissions and do next and create the role that's it and the second role is aws code sorry code deploy role so for this role also i have given two permissions aws code deploy code deploy role and amazon s3 full access so just add these two permissions and this role is also created so now make sure before starting with deployment you are ready with these two roles because we would require them in the deployment now after this so what are the prerequisites you should be ready with this roles and your code should be there already uh, in your code commit repository see with code co with code deploy you can work with uh, uh, github also and bitbucket also and you can take directly your code from s3 bucket also but here we are going to deploy the code which is our, in our code commit repository so what code is there it is a simple index.html file this is a code if you want to change this file you can change it you can just edit it and commit and this is the file which we are going to deploy so for that how many things we have here if you see appspec.yml this is a very very important file which we have for our deployment now how this file works here if you can see we have written all the details okay this details this scripts it will run into the ec2 instance where your code will be deployed so that's why we require you in this file if you remember in this uh, build phase we had this file build spec.yml which were actually giving the instructions for our build if you remember so the same way for deployment we have appspec.yml so it is a very very important file up after this this apps appspec.yml is dealing with certain scripts so we have those scripts here in the script folder which is it will install the dependencies it will start the server and it will stop the server uh -huh. so this is what is a code which should be there in repository to work with code deploy so these are certain prerequisites after this i will go to my code deploy and here i will create application so let's say here i will give it this name as a, a demo app or my app any app you can give any name not a problem and where we are going to deploy our code we are going to deploy in ec2 on premises okay see here two more options are there aws lambda and aws 
Amazon ECS. So you can deploy your code either to EC2 on-premises, which is the most popular one, or you can deploy it to AWS Lambda or Amazon ECS. So how to deploy it in Lambda and ECS that we will discuss in upcoming videos. Right now we are going to de deploy it on EC2 on-premises and I will create the application. So my application is created and if you remember i told you that it will deploy our code to an ec2 instance so here in the code deploy we will have to create a ec2 instance first okay it is not like that elastic beanstack which will automatically create an instance for you and will do everything for you so here we will have to create the instance manually so we will go here to our ec2 console your instances and we will launch an instance now we all know how to launch an instance so i will just quickly give here the name demo instance now how to launch an instance in detail that also video i have already created and it is there on the channel if you want you can watch it here we will quickly launch an instance so here the image which i will select is this one it is available with the free tire and uh, instance type we will take t2 micro key pair i already have a key pair which is my key so i will select it if you don't have just create a new key pair and use it after that in network setting we will go we will create a new security group we will allow HTTPS and HTTP traffic. We will keep it anywhere, not a problem. After this, storage, storage we will keep default, not a problem. Here we will go in advanced, advanced details and remember, I told you we have an instance profile role which we will require. So this is the EC2 instance profile role which we Required. So I've already created it. You are also supposed to be ready with this roles before starting with the deployment. So I will select this role here. Make so make sure this role is selected. In case if you forget after launching the instance, please update this uh, role in your instance. And I will make sure here number of instances one only and all these details we will just verify and launch instance. So success, instances are, instances launch, it is in the pending step, it will be running soon, here, if you verify here in IAM role, we have EC2 instance profile role, if in case you forget to map it, just go here action security, and okay, it is not running yet, so, we'll just wait for some time. And yeah, it is up and running. Just go to action security and modify IAM role. And here you select the role in case if you forget to map it or you forgot to create the role before. You can create the role letter and you can add it like this to your instance. But make sure the role is there. After this, we will come back to code deploy. And here we will create a deployment group. Now in the deployment group, I will give the name of the deployment group. Let's say this is my deployment group or you can give any name, not a problem. Service role here also, again, remember we have created this code deploy role. So just select it. After that, choose how to deploy your application in place environment configuration here we will go for amazon ec2 instance because that is where we are going to deploy key select name and value demo instance which we have already created so if you don't have an instance it will not give you this option to select so make sure you create an instance first after that Okay, agent configuration. This is very, very important. Okay, so this is a code deploy agent which is responsible to run all the scripts and dependencies, everything to your EC2 instance 
for deploying your application so that's why we will say now and schedule update that means this agent will do the configurations for you and here deployment setting i just want to deploy one instance at a time so i will select one instance load balancing we are not doing right now if you want me to do it i will create a separate video for that and create deployment group okay so our uh, application is created our deployment group is created but up till now our application is not deployed remember we have not selected the source code anywhere so there are two ways we can deploy our application either you can go here and create a deployment but here there are certain restrictions see you can select the application only stored in amazon s3 or you can store it in github okay or you can take the application which is stored in github so our application is in code commit it is not at both of these places so how we will get it so that's why what we will do we will create a pipeline okay create pipeline now why we create pipeline because it will just create a pipeline to your code commit will deploy everything and whatever changes are there whatever code commit happens there automatic it will deploy it okay so we will create a pipeline as my pipeline or uh, service role here we will select new service role advanced settings we will keep default after that we will do next and here you can see source provider so who is our source provider our source provider is code commit so i will select it repository name is demo repo branch name is main you select the repository and branch name according to your application these two things we will keep at default only next next is the build stage so i am skipping the build stage for now we have already seen how to do a build now after this deploy stage okay so here i will add who is my deployment provider aws code deploy and here if you remember we have created an application so i will select it and here we have we will select our deployment group that's it we will do next here you can just review the entire pipeline setting and create pipeline and you can see pipeline is created now it will execute this pipeline source and deploy so we will wait for some time and you can see the source is success okay and if you can see now our pipeline is all green that means source and deploy both are success now can we see our application running can we see our index.html file of course we can see that's the reason we have done so many things okay so if you can see now to see the details in the code deploy automatic it has created a deployment and it is succeeded and this is your deployment group and deployment configuration all these things are there now where your application is deployed actually so if you see this is what is your instance id okay this is where your application is actually deployed okay so if i click here this is nothing but my demo instance which we have launched if you remember so how we can see our application up and running just open your instance and take the public dns of your application and put it in the browser and there you go this is what is written in your index.html so you can see the output here that means your code is deployed successfully the same code which is there in your code commit okay now we will see the magic i will come back here in my code commit i will open index.html i will edit it i will remove this color I will change some text also come to application let's say i will write welcome to code 
pipeline okay so i have made these changes after this i will commit the changes so i will say author name commit commit changes and there you go here you have committed the change immediately if you see the pipeline okay immediately it will trigger your pipeline once again see we have not done anything it will automatic run the pipeline once again and if you can see the deployment is green once again and if you go here and just refresh the browser that's it welcome to code pipeline your code is changed actually okay that that means your code is redeployed okay so you are just making the change in your code you are committing and here automatic the pipeline will trigger and it will redeploy your code you are not supposed to do anything manually you will just create your and set your pipeline once and that's it your work is done so that's it in this video we have discussed how we can work with code deploy and code pipeline so if you like the video please like it and please subscribe to the channel thank you